Hey there, I'm David Cook, and welcome to Cookie's Music. Today, let's talk about the Barclay Microphone's Infinity Ribbon Mic. Specifically, I want to compare the first generation of this mic to the second generation. My first gen mic came in September of 2020, and it was a huge improvement over my old recording setup. If you followed this channel, I've used that microphone on every video since then. The Infinity was designed with vintage sound and modern performance in mind. Michael Barkley is a trumpeter, so he intimately knows all of the quirks about recording trumpet. But this mic works really well for a lot of sound sources, not just trumpet. Over the past year, Mike and I have become pretty good friends, and when I first heard about a second generation microphone, I was totally on board. The second generation uses a brand new transformer custom designed by Oxford Electrical Products, paired with the same ribbon motor assembly, which gives it a much louder output while retaining the same sonic characteristics. Visually, you can tell the Gen 2 apart because of the matte black powder coat and the black grill. Now, I'll do some playing tests to compare the two microphones. These clips have been level matched, so you'll be able to compare the sound without your perception being colored by the volume difference. Here you can see the difference in my gain settings to match the two microphones. While my formal music education is almost exclusively in the orchestral idiom, I found myself doing a lot of commercial playing and recording lately. Both of these mics work really well when you turn up the burn. You might think of a ribbon microphone as fragile. And while the ribbon is quite sensitive to wind, it can hold up to a lot of sound. You're not going to shred this ribbon with just trumpet playing, as long as you remember not to use a Harman mute without proper precautions. With that in mind, I did enable my interface's 10 decibel pad in order to preserve my level matched gain for that last clip. While trumpet is a particularly loud instrument, flugelhorn is not. And this is where that extra gain in the Gen 2 can really come in handy. For this final clip, I want to show just how much hotter the Gen 2 is. I've set the gain on my interface to be equal so you can hear the volume difference. I can hear a very subtle difference between the two microphones, but I have to listen really carefully under the right circumstances to even hear them. Honestly, it's not even consistent which one I like more clip to clip. But I can say that both of these microphones will have a place in my studio, and that extra signal coming out of the Gen 2 is really handy. It'll give me more leeway when positioning the mic, and I don't have to drive my preamps as much. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what differences you can hear, if any, between the two microphones. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. 
This channel has been very performance oriented in the past, but I'd like to do more videos like this. Let me know if there's anything that you would like me to talk about. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.